Ezra, Shalashi, three Ezra, one, and Yoshiyahu held the feast of Pichach in Yerushalayim unto his Adonai and offered the Pichach the fourteenth day of the first month, having set the priests according to their daily courses, being arrayed in long garments in the temple of Yahweh. And he spoke unto the Leviim, the holy ministers of Yashadael, that they should hallow themselves unto Yahweh, to set the holy ark of Yahweh in the house that King Shalomah, the king of David, had built, and said, Ye shall no more bear the ark upon your shoulders. Now therefore serve Yahweh Eloheichem, and minister unto his people Yashadael, and prepare you after your families and kindreds, according as David, the king of Yashadael, prescribed, and according to the magnificence of Shalomah, his son, and standing in the temple, according to the several dignity of the families of you, the Leviim, who minister in the presence of your brethren, and rather, the, rather your brethren, the children of Yashadael, offer the Pikach in order, and make ready the sacrifices for your brethren, and keep the Pikach according to the commandment of Yahweh, which was given unto Moshe, and unto the people that was found there. Yoshiyahu gave thirty thousand lambs and kids, and three thousand calves. These things were given of the king's allowance, according as he promised to the people, to the priests, and to the Leviim. And Kilkiyahu, Zachariahu, and Ye'iel, the governors of the temple, gave to the priests for the Pekach offerings two thousand and six hundred sheep and three hundred calves. And Yechanyahu, and Shemayahu, and Nathan El, his brother, and Chasav Yahu, and Ye'iel, and Yoram, captains over thousands, gave to them the Leviim for the Pikach offerings, five thousand sheep and seven hundred calves. And when these things were done, the priests and Leviim, having the Matzah, stood in very comely order, according to the kindreds, and according to the several dignities of the fathers before the people, to offer to Yahweh, as it is written in the Sefer of Moshe. And thus did they in the morning. And they roasted the Pikach with fire as appertains. As for the sacrifices, they sawed them in brass pots and pans with a good savor and set them before all the people and afterward they prepared for themselves and for the priests, their brethren, the sons of Ehran. For the priests offered the fat until night, and the Leviim prepared for themselves, and the priests, their brethren, the sons of Ehran. The holy singers also, the sons of Echaf, were in their order, according to the appointment of David, to wit, Echaf, Zachariahu, rather Zachariahu, and Yeruthan, who was of the king's retinue. Moreover, the porters were at every gate. It was against the Torah for any to go from his ordinary service. For their brethren, the Leviim, prepared for them. Thus were the things that belonged to the sacrifices of Yahweh accomplished in that day that they might hold the Pekach and offer sacrifices upon the altar of Yahuwah, according to the commandment of King Yoshiyahu. So the children of Yashadael, which were present, held the Pekach at that time, and the feasts of sweet bread, seven days. 
and such as Pikach was not kept in Yasharael since the time of the prophet Shemuel. Yea, all the kings of Yasharael held not such a Pikach as Yoshiyahu and the priests and the Leviim and the Yahudim held with all Yashadael that were found dwelling at Yerushalayim. In the eighteenth year of the reign of Yoshiyahu was this Pichach held, rather kept, and the works of Yoshiyahu were upright before his Adonai with a heart full of holiness. As for the things that came to pass in his time, they were written in former times concerning those that sinned and did wickedly against Yahuwah above all people and kingdoms, and how they grieved him exceedingly, so that the words of Yahuwah rose up against Yashadael. Now, after all these acts of Yoshiyahu, it came to pass that Paro, the king of Mitzrayim, came to raise war at Karchachmis, rather, Karchachmis, upon Parath, and Yoshiyahu went out against him. But the king of Mitzrayim sent to him, saying, What have I to do with you, O king of Yahudah? I am not sent out from Yahuwah Elohim against you, for my war is upon Parath. And now Yahuwah is with me, yea, Yahuwah is with me, hasting me forward. Depart from me, and be not against Yahuwah. Howbeit, Yoshiyahu did not turn back his chariot from him, but undertook to fight with him, not regarding the words of the prophet Yeremiyahu, spoken by the mouth of Yahuwah, but joined the battle, rather, but joined battle with him in the plain of Megiddo, and the princes came against King Yoshiyahu. Then said the king unto his servants, Carry me away out of the battle, for I am very weak. And immediately his servants took him away out of the battle. Then got he up upon his second chariot, and being brought back to Yerushalayim, died and was buried in his father's sepulcher. And in all Yahudah they mourned for Yoshiyahu, yea, Yeremiyahu the prophet lamented for Yoshiyahu. And the chief men with the women made lamentation for him unto this day. And this was given out for an ordinance to be done continually. In all the nation of Yashadael, these things are written in the Sefer of the stories of the kings of Yahudah. And every one of the acts that Yoshiyahu did, and his glory, and his understanding in the Torah of Yahuwah, and the things that he had done before, and the things now recited, are reported in the Sefer of the kings of Yashadael and Yahudah. And the people took Yahuyahaz, the son of Yoshiyahu, and made him king instead of Yoshiyahu, his father when he was twenty and three years old. And he reigned in Yahudah and in Yerushalayim three months. And then the king of Mitzrayim deposed him from reigning in Yerushalayim. And he set a tax upon the land of a hundred talents of silver and one talent of gold. The king of Mitzrayim also made king Yahu Yachim, his brother, king of Yahudah and Yerushalayim. And he bound Yahu Yachim and the nobles, but Zarachis, his brother, he apprehended and brought him out of Mitzrayim. Five and twenty years old was Yahu Yachim when he was made king in the land of Yahudah and Yerushalayim, and he did evil before Yahweh. Wherefore against him Nebuchadnezzar the king of Babel came up and bound him with a chain of brass and carried him to Babel. Nebuchadnezzar also took of the holy vessels of Yahweh and carried them away 
and set them in his own temple at Babel. But those things that are recorded of him and of his uncleanness and impiety are written in the chronicles of the kings. And Yahu Yachim, his son, reigned in his stead. He was made king, being 18 years old, and reigned but three months and ten days in Yerushalayim, and did evil before Yahuwah. So after a year, Nebuchadnezzar sent and caused him to be brought into Babel with the holy vessels of Yahuwah, and made Sidikiyahu king of Yahuda and Yerushalayim when he was one and twenty years old, and he reigned eleven years. And he did evil also in the sight of Yahuwah, and cared not for the words that were spoken unto him by the prophet Yeremiah from the mouth of Yahuwah. And after that, King Nebuchadnezzar had made him to swear by the name of Yahuwah. He forswore himself and rebelled and hardened his neck, his heart. He transgressed the Torah of Yahuwah Elohim of Yashere'el. The governors also of the people and of the priests did many things against the Torah and passed all the pollutions of all nations and defiled the temple of Yahuwah, which was sanctified in Yerushalayim. Nevertheless, the Elohim of their fathers sent by his messenger to call them back because he spared them and his tabernacle also. But they had his messengers in derision, and look, when Yahweh spoke unto him, them, they made a sport of his prophets, so far forth that he, being wroth with his people for their great wickedness, commanded the kings of the Kazdim to come up against them, who slew their young men with the sword, yea, even within the compass of their holy temple, and spared neither young man nor maid old man nor child among them, for he delivered all into their hands. And they took all the holy vessels of Yahuwah, both great and small, with the vessels of the Ark of Elohim and the king's treasures, and carried them away into Bebel. As for the house of Yahuwah, they burnt it and broke down the walls of Yerushalayim and set fire upon her towers. And as for her glorious things, they never ceased till they had consumed and brought them all to naught. And the people that were not slain with the sword he carried into Babel, who became servants to him and his children till the Persians reigned to fulfill the word of Yahuwah spoken by the mouth of Yeremiah. Until the land had enjoyed her Shabbatoth, the whole time of her desolation shall she rest until the full term of seventy years.